Okay, say you have music for an engineer. You want to send them a wave file. So this is pretty much how you would do it using Logic Pro X. So I'm gonna just create something. Just I have drums already preloaded, so. Whatever. Four bars worth crack. Okay. Alright, so. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to set the loop for as long as the song or whatever you're, you're bouncing. You hit Apple B to bounce. Make sure you select it for PCM and make sure it says Wave. Wave is universal across all DAW platforms. 16-bit is cool or uh, I'll leave it at 16-bit. 16-bit is cool. Yeah. I'll just leave it there. That's CD quality anyway. 44.1 is the sample rate. That's fine. Pay attention to the start and ending. Um, cause sometimes it, it will say something different. So in this case, I'm starting at bar one and at five, which is four bars. Okay, cool. Um, offline is obviously quicker than real time. Real time will play it all the way out. Cool. Dithering, no dithering. And the leave. This is fine. I don't want you to split it. That's cool. Um, yeah. So, I'll say this is drum three. I was doing some testing. That's why it's three. Okay. So, now we're going to go to Finder and just make sure that uh, what we bounce is what it is. So now I'm ready to send it. So I'm going to send this to myself. Now, what you can do is you click, all you gotta do is hover down here, and then you go to the insert file using drive. When you important stuff like waves, because wave can't be sent using email. So Google did this thing where it incorporates your uh, virtual drive online, which is pretty cool. I use Dropbox as well, or Gobbler, but I use Google Drive a lot too. So it's like, it just depends on what I'm doing. So I'm going to select the file, which is this right here, and just make sure that it is the correct one. I hit spacebar for pre uh, preview. Okay, or I could have hit this. I like this window better. You know, like that. Just showing you several ways you could do it. Um, upload that. And depending on your internet speed, will determine how quick it uploads. And voila. So it's almost like it's in the email as an MP3. Like if, if you was to send me an MP3. And you know, type in whatever you know, and do the regular stuff. Type in <laughs> whatever you know. Um, I didn't find the email and it hits in, and that's pretty much it. And as you can see, I, I got that second email. Cool.